What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to rewrite exponential growth and decay functions. Okay, but first I just wanna make sure you understand the difference between exponential growth and decay. So what is the difference between exponential growth and exponential decay? Well, they have very similar equations. So here we have y is equal to a times one plus r raised to the t. And then the only difference over here is that we have a minus sign. So what do these variables over here even stand for? Well, y over here is your final amount. And then a over here is your initial amount, okay? r is your rate. And then t stands for time. And all the variables are the same on this side. Okay, and then lastly, I just wanna talk about the growth factor and the decay factor. Okay, so don't confuse these with the growth rate. Okay, it's a little bit different. So uh, over here on this side, the growth factor is just what's in between the parentheses. Okay, so it's just this one plus r. Okay, so when what's inside of your parentheses over here, the one plus r, when it's bigger than one, that's how you can identify that your function or equation is exponential growth, okay? And then on the other hand, over here we have uh, the decay factor, okay? And then over here, it's the same thing. It's just what's right here between your parentheses. So over here we have one minus r, right? So when your decay factor is less than one, that's how you can identify that that equation or function is exponential decay. Okay, so there's your quick introduction. Now let's jump into some examples. All right, so here's our next few examples. So this one says rewrite the function in order to determine if it's exponential growth or decay. Okay, so with these, uh, you might notice that there's something kind of different here, right? And it's, it's specifically with the exponent. So normally we just have a t up here by itself, right? But with all of these problems, you're gonna see it's kind of different, right? Here we have t plus eight, here we have t plus three, t minus 1, 9 times t, or 9t, and t divided by 5, or t over 5, okay? So whenever you're trying to determine if a function is exponential growth or decay, you have to make sure that this exponent, the t, is by itself. Okay, so these uh, exponent rules can be a little bit tricky, so that's why I want to show you an example of each one, just in case you come across it on your homework or test or whatever, you'll know how to solve it, all right? So whenever you have an exponent like this where there's addition, Okay, you're basically going to break this up into multiplication. So then we're going to rewrite this as y is equal to, and then we're going to say 1.4 raised to the t, and then we're going to multiply that by 1.4 raised to the 8. All right, so then we're going to have y is equal to uh, 1.4 raised to the t times, and then here we have 1.4 raised to to the eighth power, and that's equal to approximately 14.76. Okay, and now here I'm actually gonna flip the position of the number and this uh, 1.4 raised to the t. So I'm gonna write it as y is equal to 14, or sorry, I should say y is approximately, right? Because we're rounding over here. Y is approximately 14.76 times 1.4 raised to the t, all right? And the reason I flip these two is because if you remember the original exponential growth and decay equation or function, it's y is equal to a, and then in parentheses, one plus or minus r raised to the t, right? So here you can see that we have a number, the number goes on the left, all right? So I'm just trying to get it in the same order. Okay, but in either case, you can see that we finally isolated our t all by itself, right? So now we can figure out if this is growth or decay by just looking at what's inside of the parentheses again, okay? So here we have 1.4, that's obviously bigger than one. So that means this function, this original function, uh, shows exponential growth. So let's try this uh, next one over here. So this one's a little bit different. So here we have uh, b of t is equal to four times uh, 0.55 raised to the t plus 3. Okay, so here again you can see that we have a plus, right? So that means we have to split this up using multiplication again, okay? But the important thing to keep in mind here is uh, this t plus 3. Whenever you have an exponent, it only affects what it's attached to. So the t plus 3 is only attached to right here, what's inside of the parentheses, the 0.55, okay? So we're not going to apply the t plus 3 or either of them 
to the four over here, right? The four is basically kind of just floating out here in front by itself. Okay, so if we're gonna solve this, it'd be b of t is equal to four times. And then here, again, we're gonna split this up using this last rule, right? We split it up using multiplication, All right? So this is our base, right? So we're gonna do uh, 0 0.55 raised to the t times 0 0.55 raised to the third power. Okay, so then simplifying this, this is gonna be uh, four times 0 0.55 raised to the t times, and then uh, 0.55 raised to the third power is approximately 0 0.17, all right? So then we're gonna simplify this again. Um, so the first thing we can simplify is this, right? So what's four times 0 0.17? Well, that would be approximately 0 0.67. And then we're multiplying it by this right here, right? So times 0 0.55 raised to the t, okay? So we finally got our t by itself, and you can see that the number right here between the parentheses, 0 0.55, is less than one, so that means we have decay, right? Decay, boom. All right, here's the next one. So f of t is equal to 0 0.4 times 1.16 raised to the t minus one, all right? So here we're subtracting this time. So you could probably guess what we're gonna do, right? So here, since we added and we split it up doing multiplication, here we're subtracting, so we're gonna split it up doing division, right? So again, uh, just remember that this exponent right here, the t minus one, or both of these, only get applied to what it's attached to, the 1.16, right? So here we're gonna say that f of t is equal to 0 0.4, right, times, and then we're gonna split this up, so we're gonna say 1.16 raised to the t, and then we're gonna divide that by 1.16 raised to not the negative one, but this is gonna be positive one, all right? Okay, so then this is gonna be equal to, uh, I can kind of just combine everything on top, so 0 0.4 times 1.16 raised to the t divided by uh, 1.16 raised to the first power is just 1.16, right? 1.16, like that, okay? So now uh, we, we're almost done, but the last thing we can do is simplify our numbers, right? So what's 0 0.4 divided by 1.6? Well, that's gonna be approximately, eh, approximately uh, 0 0.34, okay? So then those, they reduce down to 0 0.34. And then we have our 1.16 raised to the t, right? 1.16 raised to the t, okay? So we finally got our t by itself. Right here, 1.16 is bigger than one, so that means this is growth, like that, okay? So just a couple more here. So here is uh, y is equal to two times 1.06 raised to the nine t. Okay, so when you're multiplying like this, what you can actually do is take one of your values up here, the nine or the t, and throw it inside of the parentheses over here, okay? And in this case, you'd want to throw the number into the parentheses, so we would have 1.06 raised to the ninth power, and then we would want to leave the t out here by itself, right? Because that's the whole point, right? We're trying to get t by itself out here, okay? So let's simplify this. So it's gonna be y is equal to two times 1.06 raised to the ninth power, and then this whole thing is gonna be raised to the t, like that, okay? And then we can simplify what's inside of the parentheses right here. So 1.06 raised to the ninth power, that's equal to approximately 1.69, nice. So we're gonna have y is equal to two, or sorry, y is approximately equal to two times 1.69, nice, raised to the t. Okay, so here you can see that uh, we finally have t by itself, right? So right here inside the parentheses, 1.69, that's obviously bigger than one. So then here we have growth, right? And then the last one over here, p to the t is equal to five times 0 0.82 uh, raised to the t over five. Okay, so here we're dividing, right? But we can actually change this to a multiplication uh, and kind of treat it how we did over here. Okay, so we can say that this is equal to five times uh, 0 0.82 raised to the, uh, let's see, t over five, that's the same thing as t times 
one fifth, right? It's like I'm factoring out the t, basically. Okay, so then again, I have two values up here, right? The t and the one fifth. Which one do I want to keep up here? The t, right? So I'm going to put the one fifth over here inside of the parentheses. Okay, so then we're going to have five times 0 0.82 raised to the one fifth power. And then this whole thing is going to be raised to the t. Okay, now I don't like working with fractions, so I would change this to a decimal if I were you. So one fifth, that's the same thing as 0 0.2, right? So we can actually rewrite this one more time as five is equal to 0 0.82 raised to the 0 0.2, and then that's all raised to the t, okay? And then this would be a lot easier to plug into your calculator, all right? So then this is gonna be uh, equal to, or approximately equal to, five times 0 0.96, right? And that's raised to the t, okay? So uh, we got the t by itself. Here we have 0 0.96, that's less than one. So here we have decay. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.